it's Renee. Today I wanted to share with you five summer drinks ideas because May 1st is National Lemonade Day. So one of them I made lemonade. I made two different types of smoothies, an iced coffee recipe, and an iced sweet tea recipe. So I hope you like it. So if you want to see them, let's hop right into this video. The first thing I made is homemade lemonade. What you will need is a measuring cup, sugar, a pan, lemon, a pitcher, and of course water. The first step is to put one cup of water in a pan along with one cup of sugar. You're going to heat it up and stir it until all the sugar dissolves in the water. The second step is to pour one cup of lemon juice, either from bought from the store or fresh squeezed lemons, into a pitcher. Then you are going to pour the sugar water solution into the pitcher with the lemon juice, as well as three, two or three additional cups of cold water and stir it all up. Lastly, all you have to do is put the lemonade in the fridge for about 30 minutes or until it's cold. Then you can pour the lemonade and serve it. The lemonade I thought was so good. It was one of the best re lemonade recipes I've ever had. The next thing I made was sweet iced tea. What you will need is a one third cup measuring cup along with a two cup measuring cup, a pitcher, some sugar, water, a spoon to stir it, and two tea bags. Mine were from Meyer Classic Tea. You could also use Lipton tea. If you want to, you can add lemon for flavor. The first thing I'm doing is putting one third a cup of sugar into the pitcher. The next thing is to put four cups of boiling water into the pitcher 
and stir it up until the sugar is dissolved. Next, you take the tube tea bags, tie the strings together, and put them in the hot water. Then you can stir it up. Then all you have to do is put it in the fridge until it's cold. recipe said to use Lipton tea and I didn't have any so I substituted it with something else but you know it was still pretty good the next thing I made was iced coffee what you will need is some coffee sugar a coffee pot some coffee creamer and a measuring cup my coffee is caramel flavored and my creamer is vanilla caramel. All you have to do is make half a pot of coffee. Make it a little stronger than you normally would. If you don't have ground coffee in a coffee pot, you could make instant coffee and that would work well too. When it's done, pour the hot coffee into a glass pitcher. I used a one cup measuring cup of sugar and only poured about three fourths of it in the coffee. Then stir it up until all the sugar is dissolved in the coffee. Take the coffee pitcher and put it in the fridge for about 45 minutes or until it's cold. Then you can serve it. Then. I put the creamer in the bottom of the cup over some ice. Then I poured the chilled coffee over that and stirred it up. The iced coffee actually was one of the best iced coffees I think I've ever made. I'm not a huge coffee fan to be honest. I like my teas, but this was so good especially using the caramel flavor, I liked it a lot better. With the iced coffee drink, you could also make the coffee first with instant coffee if that's all you have. I'm sure it would be really similar to regular coffee. I just didn't have any. The next thing I made was a strawberry banana smoothie. What you will need is some ice, and of course, a banana and some strawberries, a blender, some sugar, and milk. I used almond milk. The first step is to simply cut the strawberries and put them in the blender.
Then you're going to peel your banana, cut that, and put that in the blender. Next, I'm just putting some ice on top of that and then pouring in some of the milk. Then I'm putting one third a cup of sugar in, but it was a little sweet, so I suggest not putting quite that much in. Then all you have to do is put the, the lid on the blender and turn it on and blend it up. Then you can pour it in a cup and drink it. recipes. I didn't exactly measure anything out because in the summer I drink so many smoothies I just kind of throw it all in a blender and it usually turns out okay. The last drink I made was a berry smoothie. You need a blender, a cup, some sugar, vanilla, and ice, and berries. I use strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. If you would like, you can also add bananas. First you put the fruit in the blender, then the ice, and then I put a little bit of sugar in and added just a drop of vanilla. Now I'm putting my almond milk on top of that. Then all you have to do is put the lid on the blender and blend it up. If it's not working, maybe add a little more liquid. I didn't have enough milk. When there are no more chunks, then you can pour it in a cup and enjoy. These are all my finished drinks. I hope you try some of them. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. And if you try any of these recipes, let me know. I have Twitter and Instagram, and you can always leave comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Happy National Lemonade Day.